Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Heiken and today we're going to continue our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. It's time to go for Act 3, Chapter 7, Cold Steel is what we are going to attempt. We got Tank, Michaela and Rhea, so three of our main team. Unfortunately, Sid's not... Uh, and not available and Gabe is also not available which means his best buddy Mojo is going to join us for a bit of support but the main damage dealers are already there matter of fact we have three pretty hardcore main damage dealers hold both control zones for two or more consecutive turns as an optional objective and we should be good to go let's rock and roll plan to break into Ukon's base but it's well don't anybody cancel their life insurance if we're gonna survive this we need to armor our HQ vehicle up way up good to go let's deploy gotta hold two positions yet again Need metal plating? You raid an armored vehicle depot. Settle in by the crates and pack up that steel. I've been scrapping my whole life. I don't need the tutorial. Hey, we're friends now. Remember? I. Yeah, sorry. One here, one here, one there. Got some high ground over here, which might be helpful get some high ground up here which is absolutely helpful unless of course someone's coming from here in which case we gotta defend that but yeah that high ground here looks good we're going to dig in nicely i think we're going to put our heavy to here and put a lot of grenades up here grenades and mines so that they can't uh, ambush us and we're holding that other side okay plan is made Heavy reporting in let's charge and as always in those missions let's start with everybody getting an extraction invincible here Good, the heavy On my way. begins to charge and we're eventually going to take up Waiting orders. position here, maybe even up here, who knows. Talking. Mikaela right moves here. towards her high ground. Sure. Rhea lying there. moves all the way over here because that's where we need her next. And we're going to collect that case here with Jack. This one in the middle will be difficult uh, to hold if they come from multiple angles. Hmm. You know, maybe I'm positioning the heavy on that right hand side and we're just going to use hey, others for the middle. Idea. You think it'll work? Oh, his plans always work. That's not quite like he plans. All right, heavy moves over. Support sense in the middle. We are continuing to pick up all of the crates. Ready. 
on the move. And we're picking the high ground like I mentioned. Want to start collecting yet? We're going to do that next turn. Okay, get ready to load up. Here comes the frag. Good. So far, so good. The site here looks is uh, a perfect site with a heavy standing there and just taking their chances there it is. about damn time I read you. On the move. Good, let's start to dig in here. Yeah. Exterminated. You've got this. Very well. Huh? We're done here. On my way. Good, moving up. Grenade out. We're hiding. A bit closer. Okay, cool. Reckless shot. I think we can take one shot. And then we're going into Overwatch. They won't get past me. there moving over that would be a hundred percent hit that would also be a hundred percent hit might as well kill him support on standby you want me asshole Can we hit up here, please? There we go. Just in case that Tick decides to move up. Good, Jack. Taking position. Moving into cover. Overwatch down. Good. Like I mentioned, this side here will be the big problem. Okay, we're going to use the sniper in order to protect this flank here. Plating collected. Solid start. About damn time. Starting with a bit of a frag. Position. 
But I think lock and load is Time to unload on these sorry bastards. Very much adequate now. Got a couple of things. Number one, snipe aura. Thanks for the assist, Jack. Hmm, can we yep. try to get a bit closer? Heading out. Okay, so if we were to hit, try to hit. Let's start with this guy. Good critical strike. Nice hit. Good work. Uh huh. Go ahead. Okay. Good, we still got enough ammunition up here. Yes, if this coming. guy comes close, uh, any closer, we're going to deal with them. Equally so. On Overwatch. Let's Overwatch here. Jack finally picks up the last epic case. And... Let's hide. Good, on the other side, we're pretty much good to go. Drag out. Nice one. Ready. 50-50 to hit him. Let's give it a try. Didn't connect. No, that is a no. Get past me. All right, where are we going? I think we gotta again move out of why not out of range here. Let's place a grenade, which is going to put a lot of grenades on this side. Nice interrupt. Fantastic. And stay down. Set. Okay, so far so good. We're doing really well. I like our position. Specifically here with the sniper. Reload. 
82%. Let me come up here. And let me support with an uh, coordinated aura. don't need to do anything here mojo doesn't need kills he is just here to support Does he have his uh, um, empower again? No, he does not. Too bad because yep. it would have been great to plant so many more mines. Heading there now. Which we still can do, by the way. Yeah. Just requires us to move further up. Reloading. Five magazine is still fine. Not great, but okay. Understood. Moving over, and we got a much better line of sight. I'm ready. Right over here. Okay, so far so good. The left hand flank seems secured and the other one... I don't see how these guys are going to come through. Good, another checkpoint reached. Yep. Not that that matters to us. Can't really sprint anywhere. Pushing them further over there. Yeah. Pinning them down. That's a kill right there. Potentially kill him? Not quite. Almost. They won't get past me. But the moment that he does anything, he will he will regret it. Kyla here just executing these guys. Standing by. Gotcha. 
And let's reload for good measure. Overwatching done. Good. More enemies are landing. This time sniper drones, so that is more dangerous. Almost got the plating we need. Hold on. Good, uh, that's another kill. Good kill. Planting a mine. Ah, we can only plant so many. I see. It makes sense though if you think about it because elsewise you could plan lots and lots and lots and lots of mines. Grenade out. Orders. All right, reloading. Some good old reloading, and we get three overwatches in past. case anybody ever moves into that zone. Uh huh. Ready. Got it. <clears throat> Setting up a perimeter. Good. We're overwatching. <laughs> And Jake is using a lot of his cooldowns. Hold it down now. The auras are really good. I I like what they did with Jack. He never felt like overpowered, but always like a nice little helper, almost a companion of sorts. Just triple buff. I think we're good. Oh, look at that. Can we hit the other guy? The answer is potentially no. On the lookout. Yep. Moving up. Hey. Good. Plenty of Overwatch. And I think that's it. I I don't believe the enemy has anything more that they could use. The sniper position up here was just too strong. Good. I think we're done. Yeah, mission complete. And we got all of the supplies that we needed. Okay, that's it. And, uh, good work, everyone. Just an array of people. She'll be giving the orders before long. Now let's get back. Fuel economy is gonna take a hit. But our H2 vehicle's about to become an armored beast. Nice one. We got all of uh, the extra crates. I don't think that we 
you have a lot of equipment that needs upgrading. I wouldn't be able to think about specific equipment. It's more like side grades at this point. And it's hard for me to judge whether, for instance, X percent crit chance um, or more ammunition or more uh, crit rating is automatically better. The answer is it depends on the entirety of the build. And I like how some equipment just helps certain builds. So that's complimentary. Anyways, Jack is promoted, which potentially is the coolest part. Of course, extra equipment isn't bad either. And we got some really interesting gear here. That liner is great. 30 damage, one ammunition isn't bad either. You can't really complain about it, but Flatliner, the ability, the moment that someone has, uh, that he has killed someone, automatically uh, deal critical damage afterwards. It's just too good. Flatliner. One meter movement range isn't bad, but 40 damage is good as well. The whole flatliner thing is cool. It works with grenades as well. So when using it kills an enemy, grants 50% critical hit chance, but we already got a 100% critical hit chance uh, things, uh, at least for the first shot. So we don't need that. Jack on the other hand, now could get Heavy Aura, Massive Overwatch damage and Vanguard Aura, 30 Evasion, Aim Assist, Allies gain in 20 um, accuracy when they miss a shot to a maximum of 3 stacks. Wow, that is fantastic. Yeah, we're just going to go Heavy Aura. And that aim assist. Jack, you're just the best. Extended cloak is still cool, but the rest is so much cooler. Wingman ability is great. What do we have on this side, by the way? Deploy an area of effect that removes opportunity attacks. Hmm. Could be nice. Er prevents enemies from moving. So this here is a lot about movement and counter attacks. Deploys an area that removes positive status effects. That's a counter against the buff. Prevents enemy from moving and shooting. Oh, moving and shooting. So they are essentially crowd controlled. That's cool as well. Deploys an area deals 250 damage to enemies at the beginning of the enemy turn. Wow, Jack to a degree could solo missions if he's continuing to con uh, to always stay invisible. I mean, he can always in in make himself invisible. Like put that in here and since he has damage uh, skills. <laughs> oh, hi Jack. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I gotta admit that is nice as well. Creates a powerful torpo weapon within 10 meters. Oh, I can see. Well, that is that is not a nuts. Scout aura. Okay, that makes him move faster. LS gain 15 accuracy and damage when using the pistol. Okay, so this whole tree here either summons a boom shot or a torque bow and eventually allows you to just work with them. That's a nice gimmick as well. 
I was thinking about like what would the alternative be, but still, all things considered, just all of the auras that help you to kill uh, enemies faster. I still think that that's the stronger build. And we have a lot of missions yet again. So two captured gears needs uh, mm, kill eight or more enemies using the rescued gears. Okay, good. Well, that's a legendary item. We definitely need that. Intel indicates that several equipment cases have been left abandoned. That's a locust assault. Deploy one or more vanguards. That could be something our main team is doing. Yeah, we're going to do both of these. Your units recover two actions per turn. That's not bad. That means uh, the timers will be incredibly low. That's a fun mission. Okay, so it seems that this is even more equipment. I, we are well equipped. Uh, the game is offering you a lot of extra equipment. And although these are side missions, apparently they are not non-optional. Um, but yeah, who knows? I mean, maybe we need better gear. So I'm just seeing a bit of a stagnation. It's not like we're diving into that legendary tier and then there's these unique uber uh, legendary tier. So yeah, we got to deal with what we have. Uh, those two missions are the first that we're going to do. And then whatever is left... Uh, goes on to that last mission but that happens over the next few episodes guys thank you so much for watching if you want to feed the youtube algorithm feel free to leave a comment and a like down below that would help the video and on we go towards the next few missions bye bye